whenever you see the head come off, there is a shift of authority. Eli lost his head. Samuel comes to a place of prominence because the head, the decapitation of the head is the removal of the government. Are you a kingdom without a king? Are you so busy managing the emotional relationships that you have that you don't have the energy to think the thoughts you need to think to go where you need to go? Are you so busy managing your feelings and the feeling the people around you and trying to make them feel what you feel and need what you need and want what you want that you're not making progress in life because you are leading with your heart and not with your head? Are you getting off schedule because your heart keeps interrupting what your head has decided? How many times has your heart led you back into danger? Oh, it's going to be quiet this morning, Lord. They're not going to talk to me this morning, Lord. I got to preach it anyway, Lord. Yes, sir. I'm going to preach it anyway. Because if I can save one person from losing their head, it will be worth the whole day to reach one person. You're going to come out head first. That's how you came into the world. Head first. You came out head first. And you're going to come out of your attack head first you're the prodigal son you're in the hog pen you're not going to walk out of the hog pen till you think out of the hog pen the bible said he came to himself and said see when you come to yourself and you get your government back how it changes your confession i will arise and go to my father's house i ain't gonna be broke no more when you come to yourself you say i may be in the hog pen but i'm not from the hog pen i'm coming out of the hog pen. i'm better than this I'm better than this. How many servants in my father's head? Look at how his conversation starts to change as his head got in place. Look at how progress only happened when he got his head in place. <laughs> 